Yo, what's going on guys? This is Brent again. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and use browser refresh for Sublime Text. So one of the major things with front-end web development is that you'll find yourself editing uh, some piece of text on there uh, on your application, saving it, and then going to your web browser, refreshing it, and seeing the uh, changes. Uh, with browser refresh, all we have to do is uh, edit text. Um, and then hit Control Shift R, it will save that text and automatically uh, update your browser. So in order to install this plugin, you'll have to have package control installed. If you haven't uh, installed that, go ahead and check out my video to do that. I'll put a link in the video. Uh, next, you're gonna go to Preferences and Package Control. You'll see Install Package, and we can go to Browser, and then you'll see Browser Refresh. We'll go ahead and install that. It'll pop up uh, a little piece of information we're going to need here. Um, this is what we're going to use for the hotkey, uh, and you can change that to whatever you want. So we'll go ahead and copy this. Then we're going to go to Preferences and Settings User. Actually, Preferences and Key Bindings User. You'll paste that right in here, so right here between these two brackets. Uh, if you already have something else uh, in there, you can go ahead and comment and, and add in the next section. Um, so uh, really quick, uh, this is the hotkey uh, that you'll be using Control for Windows at least, Control Shift R. You can change it to whatever you want. Auto save uh, means that if the uh, uh, file that you're updating isn't saved, that it will automatically uh, save that file. Delay is how long it will take until it actually sends a refresh. Uh, you can actually set this to 0, 0.0, um, but for CSS and some other things, you may want to just go ahead and set it to 0. 0.5. That's in seconds. Um, activate browser means that um, it will bring the browser to the forefront of your screen. And then browser name, you can set to all, which would be, you know, Internet Explorer, Chrome, and everything else. Or you can just set it to uh, whatever your main browser is. I have it set to Google Chrome. So go ahead and save that file. Then we'll go to whatever application or page we're gonna update. We'll change some stuff around. Hit Control Shift R. So there you have it, that's this tutorial. If you liked it, have comments or questions, go ahead and post them in the comment section below. Uh, if you uh, learned something from this video, you like the tutorial series, or you wanna check out more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys next time.